what's going on guys welcome back to the channel as always this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor this is just for entertainment purposes only so let's be entertained i apologize for getting this video out so late i was taking care of some other stuff but i wanted to jump back in here um, because i wanted to talk a little bit about what happened today what we were expecting and also the options chain so if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that like button and I will get right into the information. So if you were watching today, if you caught my video, I tried to throw it out. Um, I was almost right at the time that we were bouncing, but uh, we, we had a strong feeling it was coming back down to test this 200 on the daily. And you can see that blue dot right there. It, it hit it. It pretty much hit it right on the money. And then from there it took its little turn and made a nice bounce. I do like to see that. So does that mean it's going to hold? We don't know. Honestly, this is way too soon to tell. So we didn't really, we didn't really make any kind of real headway as far as breaking out from anything that we've been in. Um, I do like that it mounted up on this 13 at least. So it's getting a little bit of strength back in it. But what do we want to see? Well, at least on the five minute I want to see shorter time frame I want to see us get back up above that 200 on at least the five minute um, seven dollars and 83 cents so if we see some strength pulling there getting us up and above I'll get a little bit more excited about what we have going on but what I'm looking at is even though we're not playing the options anymore that doesn't mean that they're not out there so what I did was I kind of just looked through all of the options chain, what was available, what was bought when it was available, what's sitting out there, and what does that maybe tell us. So if you pull up your options chain, you'll see that in the put side, between 5 and $7, there are 25,000 puts roughly, give or take. There's there's more than that if we're going above $7 or below $5. But between that $5 and $7 range, there's 25,000 puts out there. So I think that they have a very, very strong desire to at least keep us down here below 7 come Friday. And if they can get us below 5, then they are going to be dancing. Um, that is not just this Friday's expiration. That's that's going all the way out to the end of the options calendar, which was like January of next year. So probably big money, you know, playing that far out. But on the bright side, I looked in July 15th. That's really our biggest call setup. That is our biggest chance of having some sort of round two three four gamma uh, 35,000 calls that are running all the way up to the $18 strike for July 15th so it makes me think this week are they trying to capitalize are they trying to get as many puts in the money obviously they would love to do that be able to capitalize on the puts because their calls are absolutely worthless right now I don't see them wanting to turn this thing right now. I want to. I want st to think that they're going to keep the pressure on to try to capitalize on those puts. And honestly, if we look at it on the daily, so I know everybody's rejoicing about a thousand percent cost to borrow. Look at this. Let's say that they traded in every last short that they had and they pulled them all and they took them all at 15 bucks one day two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten trading days later they got a hundred percent return on those shorts now it did not cost them a thousand dollars a day it cost them a thousand dollars for the cat or a thousand percent for the calendar year so did the shorts you know if they swapped them out they could have very well hammered this thing because they want their puts in the money and I think that's exactly what they're doing I think um, there's a very strong chance that they're just forcing this thing down right now driving it down 
we get some strong volume that pumps back up so they're probably covering again drive it down you know cover again drive it down and I think they want these puts in the money this week so I'm not real bullish yet on this week but July 15th like I said now they're gonna want to turn the tables they made their money on their way down they could possibly be considering you know calling that put money a win along with their short position that they have so they could cover that thing run this thing like crazy get their call money um, obviously that's the whole point of a hedge make your money one way and the other if you can but you know worst case scenario you're covering yourself in a worst case scenario basically so let's see how this all plays out like I said I don't want to be the the downer on the play and I don't want to be the downer for the week I would love to see this thing turn and you know I don't care if the hedge funds make money or not I, w I would rather them be playing along with us at this point but um, just keep that in mind that they are closer to being able to get those puts in the money right now between the five and seven dollar range than they are to be able to turn this thing capitalize on their calls and then work this back down so that's where I'm sitting with my mentality right now is I think this week could just be a rough week and we know that time is ticking right any any day after July they could say that they're going through with the merge and then it's just uh, it's all over if that happens um, so the, the time is not on our side if we make it into that July 15th though the gamma looks awesome it looks like it is set to rip now they could capitalize on that at any time Right, it could be this week, it could be tomorrow. They could capitalize on it and boom, everybody's like, oh, yay, we made money and walk away. And then they just capitalize on their puts all over again. But let's see what happens. I'm watching it, I'm watching it close. The RSI is still um, not crazy hot. I mean, we just got back to consolidation level basically on the RSI for the shorter time frames. The longer time frames, we're going to need a little bit, a lot more push to really just heat that back up. So don't be surprised if we see a little bit and then they really try to bring this down a little bit further. But that's best case, worst case scenario for me. I don't, I don't know that it's over if they get this lower because of the call options that are sitting out there for July 15th. Um, I think that they definitely don't just want to leave that money on the table. And I apologize if this video went long. I was kind of rambling there at the end. But thank you again, guys, for popping back in, watching another video. As always, if you would, just drop a like. You can leave a comment or you can subscribe to the channel. I'm about four subscribers away from that 100. Who wants to be the lucky 100? Or at least help me get there. Why not? Come on, let's do it. All right, guys, as always, stay golden and may your accounts stay green.